What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Grown. Today we're talking about this. This is the Ishin Cadex Vista unit uh, for the DJI FPV system. And uh, yes, I did say Cadex, Ishin, and DJI. This is a uh, collaboration with all of those uh, companies here, but right. So this is the pretty much the same Cadex Vista unit, but we've got a different camera. This is an Ishin uh, Ishin branded camera, right? And it's analog and digital, and uh, it has a different lens on it, and that is uh, really the big difference. And it's red. So uh, what do you get with this? Well, you get all the things you're going to need. Uh, this is a wiring harness. Now you have to solder it directly uh, to the pads which are over here, um, and then sometimes, if you're lucky, it'll plug into the flight controller, but um, maybe not. Then you have um, also the wiring you would need in order to connect it to an analog camera. If you want to do so, uh, this is a little clip for your antenna, and then you, of course, have camera control um, if you want to adjust the analog camera with uh, that, plus some you know, a little bit of hardware. Now, how does this thing stack up in terms of weight to say the full size DJI air unit? Let's take a quick peek at that. So 31 grams versus 52 grams. So you're saving a lot of weight, right? If I'm flying a five inch, this is definitely where I'm gonna go. But if I'm looking for something smaller, I'm probably going to go with this Cadex unit. Now, there are some differences between this and some of the other Cadex Vista units, so let's talk about that. So this is the DJI Cadex Vista unit here, and interestingly enough, this is a different camera. This is the Ishin Micro. Right, so uh, we've got a slightly different camera. Now there are a few different Vista options out there. Um, and let's talk about what this is, right? So this camera is really kind of the difference. Uh, the Ishin version, uh, the camera is actually basically the same. It's a micro size, right? So um, right off the bat, you'll notice something unique, right? You can plug this camera in and run it as an analog camera. Now, I don't know why <laughs> Really, I don't know why you would do that uh, unless you really just want flexibility. So if I want to buy all the same cameras for all of my quads um, and then just kind of be able to mix and match, you know, this is a good option. But this camera is expensive. Uh, right now it's about 50 bucks. It's a good camera, uh, but it's not the best option, especially if you're doing digital FPV. Um, you know, the best camera option is actually this. Uh, this camera, this is the DJI uh, air unit camera, right? It typically comes with the standard air unit, um, but it is compatible with the Vista and absolutely the best quality that you can get. Now I've done that um, right here. I have, uh, this is a three inch that I built um, and I've used the original DJI camera here and the quality coming out of it is really good. Now you do have other options, you know, if you're using the Vista, this is actually the, um, the nano camera which is probably slightly worse um, than the micro camera. Uh, but, you know, in terms of if you're using the Vista unit, um, you know, do you want the lightest, which is the nano, um, or do you want the best HD quality, which is the DJI camera? Now, this micro is kind of somewhere in between those in terms of quality. Um, so, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the, the Ishin unit is different than the actual micro unit that you get from Cadex um, for a couple of different things. One, it's red, right? So right off the bat, if you like color, cool. Um, in terms of price, it's basically the same. It's about $140 to get the Vista unit plus this camera, which is the same as uh, buying the Vista unit. Um, with the Cadex branded camera. Now, the biggest difference I can tell you is this camera is a little bit heavier. It's about eight grams versus, um, you know, the, the Cadex version is five point. You're basically six grams, whereas the nano camera is four and a half grams. Now, this camera here, the, the nice DJI camera, is also about eight grams. So, you know, in terms of why would you want this one? Well, it's a slightly smaller size. This is a a little bit bigger and kind of hard to fit in builds. Um, just a tiny bit larger. Um, so, you know, you got to kind of squeeze it in there, um, which can be done, as you can see. Um, but, you know, you get the added flexibility of being able to fly uh, analog. So if you want to kind of 
by cameras that are uh, swapped, you can do that. Also, you'll notice the um, lens is different. It's 1.6 millimeter, 1.66 millimeter lens. So your field of view, pretty much on all the other cameras, it's about 150 degrees. Whereas if you switch to this one, you're gonna get a slightly wider 165 degree field view, which I actually prefer. Um, I like that. So, um, you know, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna put this in. Um, when it comes to the Vista unit versus the Air unit, right, there are also a couple of key differences. Um, this is obviously bigger and heavier, um, but, you know, the upside is you get the ability to record directly on the Air unit, whereas the Vista, as you can see here, there's no DVR on board. You gotta record in the goggles. Now you're still getting HD videos, which is nice, but it's not gonna be quite as crisp as the recording on the uh, DJI Air unit. Uh, they are both USB-C, um, and you'll notice that there's only one antenna here coming out, um, but it does a pretty good job. It is a UFL connector. It's a protected UFL connector, which I like. Um, and keep in mind, these are left-hand circular polarized antennas, so um, you're gonna have to match that if you're opting to uh, change the antennas on your DJI goggles. So this isn't a full review of the um, Ishin Vista. Uh, we'll do that when I put this in a build, but my question to you is, what should I build this? Um, what should I build this into? You know, I don't know, maybe a, a freestyle, a five inch. Um, although, you know, if I'm gonna build a five inch, I think really the best action, course of action is adding one of these because I, I like to get that crisp DVR, right? Do I go with something like this, a little whoop, right? Um, or somewhere in between a uh, toothpick. So let me know in the comments down below what I should build this Vista unit into. Um, and I'll do that. Um, so anyway, hopefully this was helpful. You get a little bit of information about the Vista unit. Um, it's nice. Um, it, it's good. It's uh, nice to have the option for analog, although I don't know why. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why you would really do that. Just adding a tiny bit of weight here. Um, if you're going to buy this Vista unit, you know, you got you to gotta go all in, right? The, the beauty of it is the HD, right? So I guess the ability to um, to to use this camera in an analog is is nice, but you know this isn't going to transmit any analog signal. So um, you know this Vista unit isn't also transmitting analog. So there's that. But anyway, what should I do with this? Let me know. Okay, so I've got three pictures going here, and this again is not really fully part of the review, but it's just kind of a quick example of what you kind of can expect in terms of quality. Right, so the left side of the screen is the DJI camera. The top, I've got it on a five inch and I'm recording on the air unit. You can see super high quality. The bottom one is the Vista. Now the upper right corner is the uh, Nebula, right? And it's just not as nice, right? You're gonna get more breakup and artifacting um, aside from the fact that I'm crashing, right? So, um, you know, it's, it's a nice camera. Um, but when it comes down to it, the air unit and the DJI camera is probably your best option in terms of full HD, right? If that's what you're looking for, that's the way to go. Hey, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, check us out on halfchrome.com and give us that thumbs up. Good luck and happy flying.